What's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video. It's officially Mike Vick weekend in Mutt 24. We're going to reveal his 88 overall legend card coming in game tomorrow and talk about some other updates in Mutt. Now if you guys enjoy this video, if you like it, if it helps you out, make sure you go ahead and click that thumbs up button. Shows a lot of support on the channel, helps the videos get noticed. Also, if you're brand new here, you're searching around YouTube for Mutt 24 content, whether it's how to make coins, how to get free players, how to build your ultimate team you found the right channel for everything stay a while click that subscribe button turn that notification bell on as well so you guys are alerted when we drop additional videos let's get right on into it not gonna make you wait if you missed it here is the 88 overall Mike Vick that's coming to Mutt 24 tomorrow morning. Being that it's NFL kickoff weekend, EA usually brings out the big names for legends and it doesn't get any bigger than Mike Vick. Here is the card, 89 speed, 90 throw power, short throw, mid throw, deep throw, all 85, which I think should be fine. I mean, he might still have the occasional overthrow, but his throw under pressure is really good at 90 as well. Throw on the run, 88, and play action, which I don't think matters too much is going to be at an 80. So we don't know how car, how good this card actually is going to play out. And I know a lot of people still dislike left-handed quarterbacks, but I think the biggest question around it is what release will he have and what abilities will he get? Because if he has a bad release and he doesn't get Gunslinger, I still think Warren Moon ends up being the best quarterback in the game and his price is falling fast right now. As you can see, 225, 238, 241. If you are looking to pick up this card, right now is the time because by this time tomorrow afternoon, people could realize that the Vic card isn't good. And I'm not saying it won't be, but if it's not good or if it gets bad abilities or a bad throwing motion, this card could start to go back up in price. And this right now, before tomorrow, is the best quarterback in the game. Of course, you got the R the free RG3 from the Campus Hero promo, which is a really, really good free quarterback. But this card, because of Gunslinger and the Slinger 5 release, is still the best QB in the game. So if you were in the market for it, now's the time to buy it. Also, remember with 88 overall legends, we got them for the first time last week with Bruce Smith and Shannon Sharp. You can pre-build these cards right now. You're going to need 85s from either Bruce Smith or Shannon Sharp, and then any 82s and 79s from Bruce Smith or Shannon Sharp. The one card that's going to be extremely expensive, more than likely tomorrow, will be that 85 Vic, but you could basically get 14 of 15 cards needed to get that Vic set done right now. Now, I would assume that that means these 82 overall cards are gonna start to go up in price and maybe even the 79s. It looks like per the catalog here, they're still on the kind of the same price that they were last weekend. So if you happen to have these in your binder, you might wanna sell them to make some coin or if you wanna pre-build or pre-prep for the Mike Vic, you have that option. And of course, at 7 p.m. Eastern tonight on Twitch, they will likely reveal the other two legends. Could be bigger names. We might see Randy Moss. We're probably gonna see a big defensive legend. I'm thinking maybe like a Ray Lewis. Brian Dawkins would be huge. It's going to be a big day for the market tomorrow as well. It's absolutely going to crash. It's starting to do it right now, and we'll certainly be going over the cards that you need to be picking up that are cheap to still help your team get better. Just thought it would be a good opportunity to give you a Darren Waller update as well. Only two of them currently on PlayStation. I still think this card ends up being a lot cheaper uh, than it is right now, but it's not really tanking. It was like around 650, 700K a lot of the afternoon, and the cards have kind of dropped dried up off of the auction house. I don't know if a lot of people are using the card or a lot of people are buying them right up off the, the auction house as soon as they go up. But if you guys were unaware, there is a head-to-head -head event right now in the Ultimate Kickoff promo that you can play. So you would go over to head-to-head -to -head seasons, or I'm sorry, go over to head-to-head -to -head where you would normally go for seasons. And here it is, the Ultimate Kickoff Showdown placements. Basically, if you go 5-0, and you get a buy and you only have to win two more games to get the Waller. If you end up losing at least one game in the regular season you have to win three in a row in the playoffs to get the waller i've been trying we just finished up an eight hour stream shout outs to everybody that came through we have drops activated this weekend and by the way we got giveaways tomorrow i got an ea sponsored stream michael vick is going to be part of those giveaways along with some of the other ultimate kickoff cards that came out yesterday and i got a bunch of madden game codes the nfl plus edition so if you don't have the game just yet or you got a friend that maybe needs it come through to the twitch stream i don't know exactly 
exactly what time, but we will be live tomorrow with those giveaways. And of course, drops are going to be activated all weekend. You're seeing my third season. The first time I went five and one and I lost in the game before the Super Bowl. Second season, I went five and oh, got the bye, still lost in the game before the Super Bowl. And we're now sitting here at three and one. I'm going to keep trying, but it's an incredibly sweaty event. So if you're a more of a casual player, you might want to sit this one out. I also think it's a great opportunity currently if you are a casual player to be playing much champs or even head-to-head -head seasons to grind out your competitive pass because all of the goons, all of the really good players are playing this event currently, and that might make it a little bit easier to gain stats and get wins in the other game modes if you're out there grinding through your competitive pass. And speaking of competitive pass, EA surprised us in a good way today. They actually updated the milestone section of the competitive pass for everybody. So if you maxed out all of these, you now have more objectives that are in here. This is actually my first time looking at it and I only have one new one added on there so I don't know if you guys have might might have more or less or none but go check your milestone tab because you might have more opportunity to earn XP on the comp pass and remember the milestones don't go from week to week to week they should stay through the duration which is still 34 more days of this competitive pass now your other objectives did reset so head-to-head -head season solo battles much champs of course your dailies and if you haven't reached level 27 yet you want to wait until tomorrow after Mike Vick comes out because that pack contains a free legend player and as we saw last week the 88s were coming out of it I actually got Bruce Smith in mine I'm pretty close to this pack on my no money spend account best believe we're going to try to earn it tomorrow so if we can see if we can get either Vic or one of the other new legends that came out but just did want to give you an update that objectives have reset in the competitive pass if you're still working on that right now one other quick thing that I forgot to mention with the ultimate kickoff showdown event if you're getting an error message where it says this event is not available that means you're not meeting the correct lineup requirements uh, a couple things to know ultimate kickoff cards if they're 79 or below still count as gold and you can only have 10 or less gold cards in your lineup to be able to enter this event also from what i've heard the obj that you can actually upgrade to an 84 that's counting as a gold item as well so that could be the 11th item that's not allowing you into the event we put out a video last night it was during the thursday night football game so some of you may have missed it we're going to link it down below in the comment section as a pinned comment on the way to basically manipulate your lineup to get better players in the game so you can actually play with a team that's better than an 81 overall if you're going to be grinding through this event i highly encourage you to go watch that video right now so for now i think that's about it mutt news related more legends being revealed later on we'll probably drop a youtube short for that keep grinding through that ultimate kickoff field pass it was pretty easy to unlock that free 85 overall and i didn't mention it in yesterday's video but it is a non-bnd 85 so you can basically make about 90,000 coins you know you got a minus the 10 percent tax but if you don't want one of the cards out of this pack that's a free 90k that you can earn today i've heard the solos take a little bit and you know that's disappointing but i've gotten to that without even playing through any of the solo challenges so i'm sure a lot of you guys can get there with the solos involved we're gonna wrap this video up thank you guys for tuning in my name is popular stranger i'm out peace